So we need to get off that. Do you speak English? Well, no. Uh, what if I was to say no? <laughs> well, well, no. What if I was to say no? Pretty poser of a paradox. <laughs> I gave him the look I'd perfected when I was 12 and was going to be the greatest hypnotist of all time. It was a killer. Are you attempting to hypnotize me, or is it the constipation you're suffering? <laughs> I was a little out of practice. Right. Red sports car. Did you happen to see a red sports car? We'll just tell the him the crack. We don't I need to talk to him about the other stuff. Of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car. And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. <laughs> The driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Why well, wouldn't he speak so English? I know, man. That like in that's the point. Like, there's a lot of just like kind of funny things in the games that just like they're there as it's just like it's just a joke. Do you speak English? Like what the fuck? Of course he does. But you'd have thought the idiot could have heard so he, that's why he's here. He's like, what? Well, well, what if I said I don't? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's Maybe such you a stupid question. Hit by the Ferrari. His name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew, the idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh no, but he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. <laughs> Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you could report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what would they <laughs> Better do? Better not. Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money on the Ferrari. <laughs> I think you ought to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. You're right, but what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the haystack. We need to climb what the haystack. What a moral like... dilemma. Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. Or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard? It'll need some thinking about. Why, there's I'll no look problem. After it. You're right. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! I think I should start me inquiries in the bar. Hello, Blake. What's happening, man? I was thinking of turning it off very soon, but like people keep kind of tagging in every so often, and like me. I was supposed to turn it off at the start of Ireland, but we've nearly finished Ireland, and now we can climb hit this stat, this dangerous hazard. This is one part I remember with my mum whenever I was really young. Like, what is this? So, stack of hay stopped short at the top of the wall. Even if I stretched as far as I could, the wall was out of reach. The wall's out of reach. What I needed was a slice or two of Alice's Wonderland. So you can't get up. Like, you just can't make it. So as a kid, I remember, like, see that? We have to use the tool we found at the start here. As a kid on the PlayStation, dude, it was so fucking hard to find that that area to highlight. And me and my mum for like a day, just sitting trying to work out where to put the tool. We couldn't find it. As I say, just finish Return of the King Extended Edition and jump straight on Bro Brocia Jump. This is easy as this, man. We were stuck for like a day. I inserted the end of the That's it. key in the mortalist crack and gave it a firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. So here we go. We're making progress. If we jump, the hay would fall. That's true. There's another cutscene. Love him. So this is like... A really famous part of the game because of the goat. The goat ended up showing up then in later games. I shared a screenshot yesterday of Beyond. Is it Beyond? Beyond the Steel Sky? And there's even a goat Easter egg in it because of this. It was so fucking difficult. You can't. You're supposed to go down here. Oh. 
But you can't. You just can't make it. Right? So, I'll, I'll show you this. I'll show you this while these are on here. Like, what? You imagine being 1997, 98, no internet. And you're, you're on something like this. You can't look anything up. You can't you can't look up a game in a magazine. If you've missed the issue where they've talked about anything like this, you, you're stuck. You're on your own. So there's, no, there's nothing to interact with except this. And that happens. Never played this game, but you've heard about the GOAT. There you go. So there's there's literally we can try and go down the ladder we could try and look at that thing or we could talk to the goat hey, Billy. that's it the animal fixed on me with an evil glare behind the malice and resentment there was a cool intelligence how you doing boy I felt as threatened as I'd been by the assassin and his <laughs> goons in Paris <laughs> there's nothing you can click on and this is the only time this game does anything like this you can't use any items on him there's no there's no trickery like that. So once you click on this, the cursor actually becomes available. And you have to click on this before you get up. So when he knocks you down, you have to click on this before you get up. So it's just a matter of speed. You click this, get knocked down, and click that. That's it. And like Jesus said, he hasn't played the game, but he's heard about the GOAT because it's like renowned for being just such a like... It's really, it's really difficult, but it's really fucking simple. Watch. Guru here. Click. Look. So the goat gets caught on the wood. The rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plow chair. And that's it. That's the solution. Two clicks. And that's us now. We can go down here. That's it. That was it. That was a full on being stuck. We were stuck on that. Like I asked my mum for help as a kid. We were stuck on that for probably two, three weeks. She had to contact, she, she contacted her friend's brother who had the internet and he was able to print out the pages for Ireland. How to do it on a walkthrough for me. And like, so like third hand information to get this fucking print out of the walkthrough fucking simpler times man you know before the internet raw to everybody's mind as I dipped mind. my fingers into the soft white powder I realized what it was plaster, plaster of Paris. Paris I'd used it in kindergarten we're gonna to do this real quick so we're finished uh, Ireland so there's a little statue here we have to knock down in the ground I'll, sh I'll right click it so you can it hear. was a statue which had fallen from its place on the wall Five fingers of stone projected from the back of the carving. So it's supposed to go up in there, but it's too heavy. The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. Taking the horse and cart over to the next village to use a Tully's dial. <laughs> Literally, man. So it's maybe self-explanatory. You maybe worked out. So the plaster of Paris. As I swung the stone upright, we're going to make our own key. I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. We're going to make our own key. So we'll take the plaster of Paris, put it in there. But we need water. So I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were. This filled. is actually a bit of a timed, a timed event. This bit, we have to get back to the pub. Go into the cellar and use the tap to uh, wet the beer cloth we have. This cloth here. And we have to get back here really quickly and use the water from the tile before the tile dries up. That's the solution. I'm giving you guys a step-by-step -step walkthrough right now. Fuck this goat. The goat in the second game is amazing. There's a goat in Broken Sword 2 in Mexico. And uh, it's an easter egg. You can click on it and it'll just be like, oh, there's a goat. But you have a piece of coal in your inventory, and if you try and feed the goat to the co feed the coal to the goat, it there's dialogue between you and the goat for a few lines. Like the goat starts talking, 
It's really fucking funny. And then he he stops talking. He's like, don't tell anybody I was talking. And then he just never speaks again. Like, he just doesn't say anything. He, he just bleats like a goat. It's, fu it's really fucking funny, man. I love this guy's like, I'll oh, go and start my search in the bar. <laughs> like... <laughs> Make sure if any of you guys decide to play Broken Sword, play the original. Don't play the director's cut, please. Like you were saying, GOG, GOG has lots of the games on sale. I would say the Broken Sword games are on sale. They're always on sale. Rusty colored water. Right, water time. Water! It's the water! Let's get it wet. A wet, wet. I like it wet. Let's go. Right. Wet, wet, wet. I held the towel under the faucet and soaked it with water. Let's go. It's easy and you know what to do, like you just click the fucking things, but... When you haven't played it before, you're not going to realize it dries out, you know what I mean? It's hard to do on the PlayStation, the frame rate is different on the PlayStation, the, the, the game plays faster on a PlayStation. So this bit is legitimately harder playing on a PlayStation because it's sped up. You have less time to do it. This is us finished Ireland though. You're 70, they're 75 percent off. Jesus, you gotta buy them. Revolution need to sponsor me, man. That would be so fucking sweet. I would love that. This should be us. We'll go down here, use the tile on the plaster of Paris. And we should be good. Please tell me we're good. I hate it, I hate it. I'd hate having to go and do that again. Yeah, boy! Jesus, 75% off! Was quickly absorbed by the plaster. <laughs> tell them I sent you. <laughs> I eased the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Here we go. This is us finished in Ireland. We did it. So for me being like, I'll just say the it here. The hardened here. plaster cast fitted snugly into the five We find out about Maupassant. There was a soft thud. A place then that we can go to in France. Silence. Such a fucking cool game. And Broken Sword 2 is all about like the Aztec and Aztecs, I think. Like uh sacrifices and stuff like that, you know. It's cool. Another cutscene. So cool, man. There we go. That's it. That's Ireland done. We did it. So, where did you stay last night? At McDevitt's. I got to drinking with Doyle and a couple of the guys. <laughs> that explains why you look so ill today. Did you get any sleep at all? Not much. I had to share the room with another guy. Did he snore? Hardly. He was dead. What? Then Leary <laughs> woke me in the middle of the night to help bail out the cellar. The cellar was flooded? Yeah. Some idiot had left the faucet. Oh, left. shit, that was us. You You're supposed to turn the top off. Oh. Without a trace. Oops. But my visit Whoops. wasn't a complete waste of time. Pigram's gem? You're right, baby. The Templar's gem. Whoever Jacques Marquet is, he's in for a disappointment. Jacques Marquet? He's the guy who should have collected the gem from Fitzgerald. Gem tweet? I've been reading Oofy. about Pigram in this magazine. we get to see the magazine, do we? The media got its claws on him. Yeah, if I was his agent, I'd get him to lose the pipe. Maybe it's... Oh, no, you do. We do get to see a page of it, yeah. That dig must have been pretty important to him. He resigned his chair at Durham University to go to Ireland. 
and now he's disappeared. So Pegram doesn't have the gem, but he took off. It's just weird. See what you can find out about Professor Pegram. I'll speak to the university. Like he left. So what where, fuck did he, where did he actually I go? I want to find out who, what, or where Montfaucon was. All I've got to go by is the name and a picture of a hanged man. Where they used to execute people. Right, we can't talk to her, but we're not going to. We're going to go I out and save it. Here all day. We'll go and talk much to I'd like Lobano. To. Okay. Well, we're going to save it. Don't forget to look what, a, what a great stream, man. That was like two hours of just playing this. That was sick. Thank you for anybody that joined in. Like, okay. I really enjoyed that Anything tonight. I, I enjoyed sharing well it with you. Shopping, I know we played it when I first started streaming, but I wasn't on FaceCam or talking it. as much. I, if this is 75% off, man, everybody should go buy it. I, it makes it like two or three pound, I think. And if you buy it on GOG, you get the director's cut and the original in the one pack when you buy the game. It comes with both versions. 